hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie Gayoso. I am in Lima right now. We are in our Airbnb and I'm going to show you around because it's very pretty. <laughs> late on a Tuesday night and we just kind of grabbed a dinner and then just went to bed we were really tired but on Wednesday we had reservations to La Rosa Nautica it's this beautiful spot right along the beach that has a pier leading out Dad got this little rose and the bill. And the bill. <laughs> <laughs> that on your list to go when you're in Lima because there's no other experience like the one that we had it's just like really good service amazing seating area and view and the food like I have never had that good of food before just the other parts of the restaurant they're just amazing there was this bathroom like it it was the most beautiful bathroom I just I gotta say that and then I, I just loved it. So go to the second floor of La Rosa Nautica. Towards the back, there's a women's restroom that is just beautiful. So there's that. After La Rosa Nautica, we went to Larco Mar, which is a outdoor mall shopping area that's actually really nice and has a view of like all the coast along uh, Miraflores and, and everything like that. At night, we actually went to a magic show of water. Literally magic. I had never seen anything like this before. You know, we've all been to the Bellagio and gone to Vegas and seen the shows with the water fountains, but this was like no other. Que lindo! How do they do that? It's a projector screen on water.
to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the We made it to La Plaza de Armas We are in downtown Lima It's absolutely gorgeous in the Plaza de Armas However, there are a lot of guards and like officers and security, I guess, in the center, restricting you to enter the very center of the plaza area. We're just kind of sitting right in front of the cathedral. It's beautiful. This just area is just really well maintained and very nice. After this, we are going to Barranco. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something. The top of the church got ruined in an earthquake, and since it belongs to the priest, uh, it just was never repaired. There's not enough money to repair it. However, all the other buildings are privately owned, so their owners did repair those buildings. So everything surrounding the church is just fine. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget, yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, yeah. or maybe we just hit the end of the world. That's what we did yesterday. And it's just been a really good trip so far. We decided that we wanted to stay in this Airbnb for three nights. So we stayed here Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and then last night, which is Thursday. Uh, today we are actually leaving, we're checking out, and we're going to a hotel that's a lot closer to the airport. Uh, traffic in Lima is just ridiculous. And so we have a flight to catch on Saturday that we just cannot miss. We're going to Cusco, but I'm really happy we stayed in Lima. It literally exceeded all my expectations. The food here is amazing. Uh, the views of the ocean are just breathtaking. And just the parks, like in Miraflores, are just so pretty. I'm literally looking at El Parque del Amor and it's just amazing. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is part two of my Peru trip. If you haven't seen part one, which is where we went to Trujillo, which is where my dad is from. I got to see his childhood home. And then part three is coming where we go to Cusco and see Machu Picchu. Thank you all for watching. It's too late Ciao. not to let it go. And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed.